Hey guys, it's your boy Jarquan, and I understand that I just been on ghost. Like, I haven't really been putting anything out, and I haven't really, like, uh, been, like, been as, like, on top of things as I feel like I can be if I was just locked in with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I'm saying the Lord Jesus Christ because that's my Lord and Savior. You know what I'm saying? I belong to God, nobody else. And if I'm all to be this godly filmmaker, then I got to be giving him praise. I got to be glorifying him through every step of the way. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wasting your time. I mean, you subscribe to me and you want to see me win. You want to see me like grow. You want to see me build. You want to see, you, you expecting me to do a lot of good things. You expecting to like see, you know what I'm saying, what I can come up with and, you know what I'm saying, how I can tell stories and, you know what I'm saying, and, and be impacted from them. And hopefully, if you're a godly person yourself, be delivered from them. You know what I mean? And if you're not, you know what I'm saying, maybe you're looking for something that, that you ain't seen in someone else for a very long time. And maybe you find that you can find it in me by the things that I've done already. And so um, if I'm all to call myself like a godly man, that I'm a man of God, then it means that I, I better be, you know what I'm saying, preaching the word as well. And so I thought to like just come out of just a scripture. And it's in Galatians 6, chapter 6, verse 9. And it says, let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. I'm not going to lie, man. And if hopefully I don't lie when I say this, I've been struggling with pornography, with lust, but mainly I've been struggling with impatience. Like, I really want to be able to have everything right now. I just wish God would give me a car some days. And I wish I wouldn't always have to ride the bus. I wish that God will give me a godly female, you know, like just send her hair, you know what I mean? Like, like that, I would, I, like, I would, like, I'd be hoping for like, like a family where I have kids and a legacy where I have like, like just a, a like a, my own like mansion and like, I'm doing a lot of good for a lot of people. Like, I ain't just, I ain't just got all these worldly treasures, you know what I'm saying? I got like, I, I, I'm storing treasure in heaven, you know what I'm saying? Like my riches is in heaven. But while I'm on earth, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got it made. I've been reading in Deuteronomy, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, like, I see, like, what God is, you know what I'm saying, doing for, like, you know what I'm saying, the people of Israel. And, like, I see um, what he, what, like, if we, like, one of the things that I've kind of, like, heard, just, just paraphrasing, is that like if we like obey God's like commands and decrees that He will like give us everything like like our give us over to like give our enemies over to us for us to defeat them and and their land we'll 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 reign supreme you know what I'm saying they'll be under us you know what I'm saying like our enemies of course you know what I'm saying not those who are doing good in God's eyes obviously. But the, the ones, you know what I'm saying, who, who come to be tyrannical and, you know what I'm saying, rage war against us, we're not going to lose that war, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, one of the things I really learned is that we're not going to lose the war, nor will we lose the battle when we obey God. And that leads me to, you know what I'm saying, Galatians 6, verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Don't give up, man. Please don't give up. Like, yo, you about to reach your breakthrough. God is about to bless you in, in a way that you, could, you couldn't ever imagine. 
You 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 think you know what God about to do for you, but you don't know. You can only guess. You can only fathom. You know what I'm saying? You can only come up with ideas, but you don't know what God's going to do for you. But and so you hope for the best. I, like I don't know, you know what I'm saying what's gonna happen with this with this video right here. I don't know how many people I'm gonna impact, how many people I'm gonna touch, but I'm by faith I'm just gonna trust in the Lord that this can you know what I'm saying help somebody. I'm saying like I definitely want to leave an impact on people. I definitely want to show love to people. I definitely want to like like just be there for people and and send Jesus Christ people away. You know what I'm saying like. I'm dealing with things, man, and 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 I ought to just, you know what I'm saying, like, just, like, stick to God, man, like, stick to God, pray as much as I can, worship God, sing praises to him as much as I can, if I, if I can go to church, do that, you know what I mean, like, like, saying, like, be around believers, you know what I'm saying, Even, I don't know if everybody believe in God when they go to church, you know what I'm saying, but I go because I'm only there, you know what I'm saying, for God. I'm not there for the person who left of me or the right of me. I'm just there for God. You know what I'm saying? If you ever see me in church, you know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about nobody. I'm focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? I want my blessing, and I'm not about to let my mind get handed over to the devil, you know what I'm saying, to be manipulated by, you know what I'm saying, what someone else is wearing, how someone else looks. You know what I'm saying? What someone else is doing. Maybe they praising God more than me. I'm going to be louder than that person because... I want God to really hear me. You feel me? Like, and I ain't just doing it for like no show. I'm doing it, you know what I'm saying, for the sole purpose of glorifying God. You know what I'm saying? I'm only there for God. You know what I'm saying? That's how I want to be for the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? And um But there be times, man, where I be doubting myself, where I be double minded and and I, I be, you know what I'm saying, be like complaining about like small things and, and like it makes me feel like I'm not thankful for like a lot of the things that I have like bro like my testimony bro speaks for itself I don't want to get into that right now but man I'm thankful for this apartment bro like man I'm thankful to be alive that I can wake up because most people can't even wake up man you know what I'm saying and so um like it's it's good to be thankful you know what I'm saying for all the small things things that that you that you may you think least about, you know what I'm saying, and things that you think most about, you know what I'm saying. It's good to be thankful about everything from the moment you get up to the moment you go to the bathroom, take a shower, to the moment like you leave out your apartment, to the moment you and before you get on the bus, if you drive a bus or you drive a car, saying like, oh, like why are you driving a car and you looking to your left and your right, you know what I'm saying, to see the, the world around you. It's, it's so good to be thankful because like it could be going just like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that you, like, like you just invincible. Like, nothing can happen to you. Things happen to you all the time. You just, it just goes beyond your un understanding a lot of times because your mind be so focused on the world. Like, you have a worldly view of things, and that ain't good because when when you have a worldly view of things, you, you, you're away from God. I mean, your mind is not on God. Your mind is subject on the world. And for me... I be feeling like I gotta be off of Instagram a lot of times because that is the world. That is of the world. You know what I'm saying I gotta be like uh like like one of the things I wanna do is like fast with with like not having my phone like in my life. You know what I'm saying just putting it somewhere like you know what I'm saying and, and just not touching it. And and then you know uh, making that commitment with God to say, you know what, Lord, in the same way that I fast with food, I'm gonna fast with my phone. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, but yeah, don't give up, man. Don't don't give up because you will, you know what I'm saying, reap a harvest, man. Like you, you, God gonna bless you. God, if you you, you that person that's praying, don't think that God is just up in heaven and he having a whole party. Like, you know what I'm saying? He he the DJ man and you know what I'm saying? Like like he got headphones over his ears and he just having a good time with the whoop 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 whoop. You know what I'm saying? Why are you praising God like Lord, can you help me with this? Lord, can you help me with that? Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? While you at church, you giving God praise. He with the woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, God hear everything, you know what I'm saying, that you going through, man. He know everything that you going to ever, you know what I'm saying, go through. And he going to help you. You know what I'm saying? 
Don't, you know what I'm saying? Wait on the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, go to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, go to the Lord. Go to Him. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't wait on Him. Go to Him, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and cause cause He 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 gonna help you through. You know what I'm saying? He gonna help you through, man. And 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 so like that leads me to my next verse that I wanna uh, like give to you guys, and it's in uh, Philippians. Uh, Chapter 4, verse 8, and it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So if you that person that wants to do something for the Lord Jesus Christ, if you somebody that wants to do something good for God, if you, you if you have that like that knack to just glorify God, you know what I mean, and you you want to use it through like some instrument, whether that be filmmaking. I mean, I'm a I want to be a filmmaker myself. I want to be a godly filmmaker. You know what I'm saying like maybe you want to be a doctor. You know what I'm saying you want to save lives, or maybe you know what I'm saying you want to be a writer and you want to you know what I'm saying like do something that that will glorify God, you know what I'm saying, like, whatever it is, what, if it's praiseworthy, if it's noble, like, some, somehow, some way noble, somehow, some way admirable, somehow, some way pure, you know what I'm saying, go and do it, bro, God is telling you to do it, he telling you to do it, he already got the plan for you, you know what I'm saying, so, you, you know, so even if you fail, you're gonna succeed, you know what I mean, like, and you know what I'm saying? The devil, you know what I'm saying? He, God is not going to allow you to look foolish. He's not going to allow you to just look stupid. You know what I mean? Like, it, no, that's not happening. Even you could think that what you're doing is stupid, but your mind is not the same as God. You know what I'm saying? God is greater than you. You know what I'm saying? You will buy at a price. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you're going to ever, you know what I'm saying? Like, like have, you know what I'm saying? Is, 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 is going to be given by the grace of God, you know what I'm saying? And so you got to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? Because what he got going for you, you know what I'm saying, is, is going to be lovely, bro. You know what I'm saying? So be that football player. Be that basketball player. If you're a boxer, you know what I'm saying, you better be praising the Lord Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, that's your campaign right there. <laughs> I mean... I'm not going to try to be no boxer, but I box, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not fighting nobody, you feel me? I'm just, I'm just training my, I'm training myself, you know what I'm saying? So I can, you know what I'm saying, be able to help my son and my kids one day. So they know how to defend themselves whenever they meet, meet, they, they bully, you feel me? And so, but, but that goes without saying, like, you can be whoever you want to be. God's saying you can be whoever you want to be. Just do whatever is noble, whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is pure. You know what I'm saying? Whatever is admirable. You feel me? Like, if you do that, bro, you think God won't bless you? Come on. <laughs> God is going to bless you the long way, man. He going to bless you the long way. You know what I'm saying? Like, believe in that. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever think that God ain't got your back because he do, man. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 especially if your life is with him. You you think of Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? You believe that with all your heart, with all your might, with all your soul? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, even if you do sin, God got you, bro. Okay. Pure, purified. <laughs> purified. <laughs> Just like that, man. God has your back. So go ahead and go after God even more, man. Do it, man. Just do it. Read your word. If you got to spend multiple times reading your word to figure out what God is saying, go and do it. Don't let your mind be so deceived that you won't get on your knees to pray or, you know what I'm saying, you, be, you in the shower and you, th you thought about, you know what I'm saying, singing praises to God, but you was like, you know what? Nah, I ain't gonna do it, bro. Nah, I'm gonna just turn on some, like, hip-hop, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you, at least the thought is what counts, man. If you can at least think about it, then you can do it. And if you can at least do it, then you can do it again. And you continue, and you can continue to keep doing it again over and over and over. 
And then as you continue to like build that consistency, God will see that and he will just bless you at a time where you just least expect it to happen. You know what I'm saying? We expect things to happen, but God's going to bless us at a proper time if we do not give up. So that's my message for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Do not give up and do whatever is praiseworthy. You feel me? And uh, God bless you. Hope the Lord Jesus Christ stay in your life. Amen.